Hey, I'm Zach. I'm Juan. And I'm Edgar. I'm Steven. Cortez Julio Juan Cardes the third. And welcome, welcome to, to HSN, HSN News. News. Hi, this is Melinda Gonzalez, Counselor here at Heritage, and this is HSN News. What's going on, guys? Nick Burney, alumni 2014 here, and you, this is HSN News. My name is Cotelio My name is Jimmy. And, and welcome, welome to, to HSN, HSN News. News. Hello, Patriots. I'm Samantha Amaya. And I'm Kalani Gonzalez. And welcome to your HSN News. Wait. Wait. Oh, sorry about that, Patriots. We got a little bit of a mix up. She's Samantha Amaya, and Hi. I'm Kalani Gonzalez. Before we get off to the news, let's welcome her back to the news herself. Hi, guys. I'm Samantha. Thank you for having me back. Thank you for coming back. Yeah. Now let's go off to the real news. And for those of you guys who don't know about robotics or want to know more, here's a quick video with Kalani and the president of robotics. Hello everybody, my name is Kalani Gonzalez and you are? I'm Jalen Noble, the president of robotics. Awesome. What do you do as a president of robotics? Um, basically, as president, it's my job to make sure our club remains united and that all the teams of our club are able to cohesively work together and still show the club as a unit. Can you tell me a little bit about the club? Um, so, the role of robotics is to prepare people for the FTC competition, which is the first tech challenge. And basically what that is, is um, a big task that we are all ta um, told to do and we all build robots for them. What's your favorite part about robotics? Um, robotics really prepares you for big group projects, working with other people, but especially in STEM fields, which is science, technology, engineering, math. Alright, thank you very much. As again, I'm Kalani Gonzalez. And I'm Jalen Noble. And back to you at the studio. Thank you Robotics Club for donating your time for that video and interview. Now for more information on our school, let's go over Samantha for more information on AVID. So for those of you guys who are in AVID, don't make, well make sure to sign up for the UCI trip because it depends on you and your future and what college you go to. And now back to Kalani. And speaking of college, our college spotlight this week is on MIT Technical Institute. Let's go to that now. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology is a research university located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, along the bank of the Charles River Basin. MIT has five schools and one college, containing a total of 32 academic departments, with a strong emphasis on scientific and technological research. However, in the past 60 years, MIT's educational disciplines have expanded beyond the physical sciences and engineering into fields like economics, philosophy, linguistics, political science, and management. While well, MIT's classes have a reputation for being very intense, but there is no doubt that the university students receive a world-class education. The university guarantees housing for all four years and freshmen are required to live on campus. Are you seeking admission to a stretch school such as MIT? We have the expertise and we're here to help. Call us at 1-800-809-0800 to learn more about how we can help you achieve your educational dreams and ambitions. So for you Key Club bearers, D6 soft polo bearers, or just anyone else who wants to party, make sure to attend the Key Club Lead Party October 17th. It's going to be plenty of fun. You can play Smash Brothers, Mario, and plenty of others. Make sure to attend and have a lot of fun there. We have a short video on the subject right now. Let's go to it. So for those who want to sign up for the PSAT, the PSATs are next week. you got to pay $17 if you're a sophomore. Except if you are a junior. Those are free. So make sure to go out there and study so you can reach your goal. Now, let's go over to Carlos and Alexa for sports. What's up, Patriots? I'm Alexa. I'm Carlos. Welcome to Heritage Sports News. 
Robotics are making plenty of things, but what are they going to do in the future? How about joint engineering? It's a great future with many benefits. Let's go to a video of that right now. Hi, I'm Naomi and I'm here with Mr. Santana at Heritage High School to talk about what he does as an engineer. So tell us, what kinds of things does an engineer do? Well, engineers spend most of their time in offices doing a lot of design, a lot of planning, and usually do a lot of 3D modeling. And once their product is ready, they send all their info to the techs, and they usually are the ones that build. But there's usually a lot of paperwork involved, and a lot of applying what you learn in school, all your math, science, all your technology, all your engineering classes, they get put to work. What inspired you to become an engineer? Um, I became an engineer because I really like the idea of being able to take whatever it is I want, all the knowledge I've gained, and apply it to make whatever projects I want. I think that's probably the most fun, it's just having an idea and making it, and making it happen. What did you have to do in order to become an engineer and get where you are today? Engineers have to go through a lot of school. Typically it's said that you need about four years, but realistically sometimes you need about six years. You take just about all the math, all the chemistry, physics imaginable. Um, you have to be very analytical. So um, a lot of math and science is A important. lot of math and science, yes. A lot of devotion, long nights, no life. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. It is. Do you have any advice for someone that is aspiring to become an engineer? I do. Um, I recommend that you guys start early and get involved as much as you can at your schools, engineering, clubs or like the robotics club in this case um, just to get your feet wet see if it's for you uh, there's a lot of times where students go off to college and get into these impacted programs and have only to find out that it's not for them and that's totally okay but it'd be nice to hand your spot over to someone that you know really wants it well thank you for your time and back to the studio <laughs> What's up, Patriots? I'm Karam Miguel, and I'm here with Liz. We're about to ask him a little random question. So we're about to... We're about to... Alright, so look. Say you in the middle of the ocean, right? You're on the boat. And you got in the water... You got, uh... You got Ms. Zero, the principal. You got Ms. Zero, and you got Mr. Club. And you can only pick up one. Who you gonna pick up? Of course it's gonna be Ms. Z. Ms. Z? <laughs> I can't even pick up Club, you feel me? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Alright, there you got it, Patriots. So look, say you're in the middle of the ocean, right? Yeah. You're on a boat. Yeah. And you got Mr. Clo drowning. Yeah. And you got Coach Brooks. Yeah. And you can only pick up one. Who would you pick? Wow. Who would I pick? Who would you pick up? You can only pick one. 
Well, I'm gonna hope that Mr. Clo floats into that I will say Mr. Broach because being a biology major, Broach's body type is more gonna fall. So I'll work on saving him first. Save Mr. Save Coach Broach. Sorry, Mr. Clo. Mr. Clo. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Clo. All right, that's it. HSN News. You heard it from Mrs. Miss. Minius. Miss Minius. <laughs> So for those of you guys who either know about FFA or just want to know, from today until Sunday, FFA will be at the fair, and here's a quick video with Kalani and FFA. Okay, Patriots, now, at lunch you might have noticed something different about this school. We now have a wall of kindness. Right next to the quad is a wall full of posters spreading the love and peace of this great school. Yeah, and don't forget that tonight's game is a pink out game, so support the fight against breast cancer and wear pink. Yep. Now, Patriots, we have one more message before we head out. This month is anti-bullying month. We actually have a video on the message today. So before we head off to the Pledge of Allegiance, we'd like to show you that. So, I'm Samantha Maya. And I'm Kalani Gonzalez, and thank you for tuning in. What did I tell you about coming back here? Did you hear me, nerd? Just leave me alone. Watch yourself, punk. Everyone in this room wants you to die. <laughs> School just ended. Why are you leaving so early? What's the matter? Is pretty boy sad? Why don't you just go home? Never come back. The school is for people who actually have a brain. We don't need you. You're just wasted space. Everything's alright. 